And we're back to CapCut. Let me show you how you can create a diagonal split screen. Doesn't matter if you use a rolling clip or just an image. I use both to show you that it works. With whatever you put here, let me use B and A, the short keys, to have the split and the select tool, and I make it the same length. Go to whatever is on top. Make sure it's selected in the timeline. And by the way, I use the default layout. Go to video and then mask. Use horizontal. You can left click drag on the line to reposition it and left click drag on this circle image to rotate it. There's also this double arrow, but that's for the feather. You can adjust all of them numerically on the right hand side as well. Here is the feather, the rotate and the position. And this is in principle all there is. But let's just say you want to have a multiple split screen effect. So you have three clips for example. Let me use the image again and I make sure the video clip is in center. Top one already has our split. I'll reposition that a little bit. Maybe up to here. And by the way you can also scale the clip and position that. On the basic. Let me show you this for the video clip and it becomes clearer why this might be necessary. I'll go to my clip, use a mask, rotate it. I want to have the same angle as the first one. It was 30 degrees or minus 30. I have to reposition that and now you can see the person isn't visible anymore and that's the only moving part in the video clip. So we want to reposition that, but you have to reposition it before adding the mask. So if I do it now, I will scale it up and reposition it, but the mask gets adjusted at the same time. So uncheck this, for example, or get rid of it. And then use scale and reposition here to have the person in center. Maybe this is a good position. Go to none and then reapply a new mask. We once again have to use minus 30 and reposition that. And now we have our person. And if I roll it, you can see we now have this double split screen or whatever you want to call this. Once again, you can use clips. You don't have to use images, but it works with either. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.